Well, I got these four teacups on eBay, uh, teacups and saucers. The cups are really pretty, the saucers are beautiful, but the teacups are badly stained with tea, probably because they've been used. And I looked on, I went to the internet and said, how do you remove tea stains from cups? And I got lots of ideas. Some people said, um, use bleach. Other people said, don't ever use bleach, you'll ruin your cups and then you wouldn't be safe to drink from. Well, I don't think that's true. Others said, try things like salt. Some said use baking soda, some said use bleach, some said use hydrogen peroxide, all sorts of ideas. I did try citric acid, that didn't work. So right now I'm going to try some of the most popular suggestions. I'm going to try salt, since I have four cups about equally stained. I'm going to try baking soda, I'm going to try one of my old favorites, toothpaste. This is Colgate Whitening Toothpaste. And I might as well try the old tried and true Clorox. First I'm going to get the Clorox one going, just to see what happens. I'm going to be a little careful with the Clorox. Let's take a um, bowl and I'm going to put a cup in there. I think I'll add some water first. Here I have some plain old hot water. Let's put some hot water into a cup. We've got four cups to work with. Put some hot water in there. Um, maybe that much. And I'm going to add some Clorox. I'm just going to um, I'm not even wearing gloves, but I am wearing a, an apron with teacups on it. Okay. I'll put in... How many tablespoons do you think I'd use, Ro? That much? That many. That looks like... Okay. Let's... Ooh, that smells like Clorox. Let's let that one sit. And soak a little bit. And we'll cap the Clorox and set that down. Now let's work on more of the others. What do we try next? Let's try um, baking soda in the next one. I'll put a little bit of hot water and some baking soda. A bunch of baking soda. Let's let that let's sit a little bit. Okay. Let's see what happens to that. Number two. That's just water. We're real sanitary here. Next one, how about we do the um, salt solution? I said rub it with salt. Okay. I don't know what that's going to do, but it'll make it salty, and I, salt is cheap. Okay? Salt, like everything else these days, has pink ribbons on it. Let the salt sit, and then let's try a little bit of my friend whitening toothpaste. And for that, I think I'll get a toothbrush. Oh my goodness. It's bright turquoise. And we'll just uh, scrub a little bit. Let's see what happens. Smells good. Minty fresh. Hey, it looks like it's doing a great job. Then we're just going to compare them all and see how they come out to the um, to the saucer, which has no tea stains on it at all. Either people were always neat and kept their tea in the cup. Let's screw this brush. Let's just rub it in there. Um, okay. Pour that out in. Any paper cup down here. See what happens. Well, I didn't really take out all the tea stains. I didn't give it very much time. What do you think? Should I keep going? Sure. Will the others sit? I have a lot of cups to clean. This is just the first four. It didn't feel very gritty. I don't think I was damaging the cup very much. Let's rinse that off. That's just um, plain cool water. And there we have our toothpaste cleaned cup. It's still a little bit brown, but it's not quite as pronounced. So that was the beginning. Now, let's try this convenient like sink thing. Let's try the, uh, what's this one? Salt. Yep. That one's gritty. People on the internet said to just rub it. I've never heard of salt for cleaning stains. For a few minutes. Can you think of why I'm letting it soak might make a difference? Not particularly. Okay, then I'm just going to rub it around a little bit, dump it out. 
Any problem with mixing salt and toothpaste? Nope. Then we dump it in the salt jar. And let's put a little more water and rinse it out. Ouch. Rinse. Salt. How did salt do? Salt uh, didn't make it white and made it not even as good as the toothpaste. Not even close. So forget salt. Next one we're going to look at is, what's this? Baking soda. Yeah. I'm going to use the toothbrush again. This is the one that I actually had the most faith in. Um, I suppose I didn't consider something like vinegar, which we use for descaling um, the coffee machine. In every single solution I saw on the internet, somebody said, oh, I do it all the time, works like a charm. If none of these work, it may be because I'm not letting them sit long enough. What have I got, about a minute for each one? Something like that for the early ones. Okay. And the bleach is just sitting there. It doesn't look any different. It may need some scrubbing as well. Um, I see some color coming up in here. Can you think of any reason why letting baking soda soak would do a better job than just scrubbing with it? Not really. Okay. With salt and baking soda, uh, I think it's equal parts what it is as opposed to just the fact that you're rubbing it with fine granules. Okay. Any problem with pouring that into the salt solution? I don't nope. think you get any reaction there. Um, let me put in a little bit more. Nope. We're not getting a, a reaction. Let's put in some more baking soda and just straight up scrub it. A little bit more water. Uh, I feel like we're getting somewhere here. We know it's pretty gentle. The other things, oh, two other things were suggested. One is Bon Ami Cleanser, which as you know is a, is a grit-free, gentle cleanser. Scrub. And the other is um, those tablets for cleaning dentures, which would then effervesce. And if they work for cleaning dentures, they probably work for cleaning tea stains out of fine china. Okay. Let's give this a try. Answer. Hey, what do you think? That did a pretty good job. It's not white, but it's not a noticeable tea stain. So of the, what do we have first? Toothpaste, salt, baking soda. Of those three, baking soda is clearly the superior cleaning. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Finally, we turn to our friend bleach. Um, I'm not going to put my hands right in that. I'll get another toothbrush. This one, uh, I think uh, Ray used it because it's all mashed. He tends to ruin toothbrushes in just a couple of weeks. We get him a fresh one each time he comes. Um, I'm not seeing anything, any difference here. I could add some more bleach. Well, I wouldn't advise that. Or I could let it sit. Or I could just give up on it. I'm not seeing anything dramatic. It's not bleaching the bristles of the brush either. So that was like a heaping one of these serving spoon full of bleach in about a third of a cup of water. What do you think? I'm not seeing much of anything. It smells like I'm going swimming in a pool. And something out of the order of a 3% solution. Is that what it would be? Okay. Compared oh. to the baking soda? It's not nearly as bright. I'm going to shine the bright light on it for just a moment. And does it look to you as though, I'm going to put this in this order, that the bleach cup changed the color of anything else in any way? I, I'm thinking it might have. The camera can adjust because here comes the bright light. Okay, we have the bleach cup. We have the baking soda cup. We have the salt. And we have the toothpaste. Which one wins? Hmm. I'd have to say that salt clearly doesn't make it. Salt is a loser. Baking soda or bleach? Bleach is actually pretty good. 
The colors look a bit different on bleach. I think bleach changed my colors. And between toothpaste and baking soda? Actually, what it looks more like is that baking soda scrubbed off some color. And if we look at the leaves there, they're fairly light okay. as opposed to a nice vibrant in so the bleach. I'm going with bleach. bleach and they came off a little bit. I think it's as much the scrubbing action of that Bleach was certainly brush. easier. Okay, bleach wins. All right. It's going to be bleach. Okay, you can end this video now. Goodbye.